let me continue on uh, wrap up chapter eight, which is drafting. So this is uh, basically the last lecture of the ME1305 course, where you guys have gone from the drawing of a uh, piece and a sketch to the 3D modeling, and now uh, then you went on to assembly, and now we're going on to the final piece of this, which is going to be putting our parts and our individual 3D models into a drafting or a, a blueprint. You guys can also do this, uh, follow the same procedures for an assembly, um, but we are not going to cover that in this course. You may want to explore that on your own or uh, hopefully encounter that in more advanced um, NX type classes. So uh, what you see here is I've drawn a part. If you like to see the dimensions, you can pause the video and go back and look at these dimensions um, on your own time, okay? So let me go ahead and move it to this. Let's look at a right side view of this. And you guys can see the dimensions of this. I can also make a left side view. So you see, uh, you guys can pause this again, um, make some of these modifications if you like. This is also in in your book. I have a um, piece that's 1.5 inches high, 3 inches wide. Uh, you could see these, these different dimensions. The chamfer on this is 0.2 inch. I also have a hole here. And let me go ahead and, and highlight that sketch for this hole. Uh, this hole is has a diameter of 0.125 inches and is located half an inch from each corner, and it's also located one an inch deep into this part. Okay, so that's that's basically the different um, the different components of this shape. It's a pretty simple shape. You guys can draw it in five minutes or so. What I want to explore now is I want to go now and show you guys how to make a blueprint. So the first step in making the blueprint is going to start and we're going to select drafting. Okay, and you see I've already done some work on this. Uh, let's go ahead and start from fresh. So when you click that for the first time, what you're going to see is this menu. So you can use a template. Let's say we want to use a template. We're going to use a B style template. And if you're interested in the details of what that is, you can you can look it up, but essentially it has to do uh, with some of the different uh, styles. Okay, and we're just going to use a, a typical Simmons template, just the default one. Okay. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to import our model. I'm going to go up to this top menu and I'm going to select base view. Okay. And the first, so you see when I move my uh, mouse over into this uh, blueprint. You guys can see I have top view selected. The scale is one to one. We can also make it smaller or larger. I'll leave it one to one. And we can add different views of this. So let me go ahead and start with a uh, left side view of this object. Okay? I'm just going to place the left side view right here. As I move the object around, you'll see that it also moves into place for the different views. So this would be a top view, this would be a bottom view, this would be a back view, this would be a front view. So we can move this. As we move it around, it also orients itself to uh, the different views that we have for this particular object. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, go ahead and uh, put this left side view and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the, let's say I want to do a, let me go ahead and close that. Next thing I'm going to do is a, let's do the bottom, oh, let's look at this, top, uh, let's look at a top view of this thing. So I'll do a top view here of the same object, okay? Now that I have the top view, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a, you, ha, you may notice another set of menus here that show different components that we can do. So I'm going to do a section view, okay? 
And for the section view, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this hole, okay, and I want to orient this in another direction, okay. So we can go to select the direction we want it to go. Let's say we want it to go extraction. No, I want it to go in the y direction. So I can select the center point of this hole. And what will it, what it will give me is a cross section view exactly of that of that section. So right now it says section D D and it has a cross sectional view. Now if, what if I some of these things may get crowded? Let's say I want to move some of these. I can go to edit view move copy view and I can select the view I want to move or copy. And then I click to a point. And then I can just move these around to wherever I would like to. Okay? So here's a sectional view of that same uh, object. Let's say I wanted to do that again. Okay, let me go ahead and create another one. Uh, this time I'll create it, uh, let's see, I'll create it along the y-axis here, along this center point now. Okay. And let's say I don't necessarily want it there again, so I can go to Edit, uh, View, Move Copy, um, and we can scroll through these different views, because I wanted to say Section EE there. Okay. Uh, let's look at some other uh, some other views we could possibly use. Uh, we can also go to projected view. So we can do a projection of this um, of this shape. Let's say I wanted to project this. So this is just the projected view of this same shape. Um, some other things that we can do is we can add a uh, our own custom view. So what I did was I clicked our let me close this and show you. I clicked the base view icon here and I um, clicked the Orient View Tool. So I clicked the Orient View Tool. And I'm just going to move this object to whatever position I want. So let's say I wanted to provide somebody who was going to manufacture this for me a view where they could see the whole 3D model that may be useful for them. So I'll orient it and I'll put it here. Okay. So there's the 3D view. Now let's say I wanted to do also do a detailed view of a particular point. So we can go here, we can click detailed view. And I'm going to want to do a detailed view of this hole here, okay? So we can do a detailed view of that hole. Okay? And it says I have a, a scale of 2 to 1 on that one. Next thing I want to show you how to do is add dimensions to this to this cell. Uh, blueprint. To add dimensions is very similar to what we did before uh, when we were doing our sketches. All we're going to do is go up to our top menu here and we're going to select Inferred Dimension. Okay. Then we get our Inferred Dimension menu. Uh, the, first, uh, the first one lets us know we can select if we want a tolerance. So one inch plus or minus, let's say, 0 0.05, that's a tolerance. I'm going to select no tolerance for now. This lets us know how many decimal places after that we need to uh, label. And we'll get into the text and using some of those in just a little while. So I'm going to go ahead and add some dimensions to this shape. Okay. So if somebody that wanted to build this thing could actually come in here and they could put this together. Let me show you some of the other dimensions that are here. Okay, so if we click on the on the drop down menu next to our inferred dimensions, we can select an angular dimension. And let's say I wanted to measure the angle between these two points and I wanted it to be 45 degrees. Okay? So let's say I only wanted to have one decimal point after this. I would just double click and assign it to have one decimal point after the after the object there. Okay? Now let's say I wanted to also label the depth of this, the depth of this hole. So I, would, I can click the surface, okay, and I can click the the other end of this, and it should give me the depth, which is one inch, which we specified before. 
Let's look at a couple others. Let's say I want to give specify the distance of where this hole is. So let's say it's 0.5, should be 0.5 from both edges. Okay. Um, and let's let's look at uh, let's look at some others. Let's say I wanted to give this a dimension of diameter. So let me go ahead and click the pull down menu. I'll click hold dimension. I'll go ahead and click that and it gives me a diameter. Now you may say, yeah, but I want the depth too, and I'll show you how to also include the depth of those holes on here. For this one, let's go ahead and select a uh, cylindrical dimension, and I'll I'll click these two reference lines here, and you see it'll give me a dimension of the diameter is 0.75 inches for that particular section. Um, what other things can we do here to this shape? Um, I think uh, you all now have a very good idea of the uh, a very good idea of how to dimension something and now how to put it in a blueprint form. Next thing I want to show, so if we double click on some of these different icons, we can emphasize and change some of the formatting here. So if you double click on that, you may you can change some of these ways that these are expressed. So if you want it to be a ratio instead, I like the um, I like this uh, this format uh, myself. You can change how it's labeled on the parent. You can change various different other things. Um, a few other things that you can do uh, on this on this particular sheet is you can look at. So let's say on our part navigator we can select uh, this shape. We can go to um, edit. Okay, we can change some of the values that are on there. We can go right click. We can look at um, some of the other things like style, and it gives us the several different menus. We can select hidden lines. Right now they're set to invisible, but let's say I wanted to see the hidden lines. Where and this will let us know where the holes are located, so you can see the depth of these holes. And it may be useful for somebody who is trying to actually build this thing. Okay. I think one of the last things I want to show you for these blueprints is how to add some text now to the uh, different surfaces that we have here. To do that, all I'm going to do is going to go to Insert, Annotation, Note. Okay. And to, what I'm going to say is I'm going to let's say we want a reference view. That's the note I want to add. And we can uh, we can do several things. We can um, let's say I want it to lo be um, uh, change some of the size the sizes that I have here. Let me put okay. Now let's say I want it to be um, labeling this this particular view here. Let's see, and I want to delete that last one. So I can go here just like we did when we were de dealing with uh, uh, sketches. It's all very similar. Let's say also I wanted to add another one that told you that uh, insert annotation note. Let's say I wanted to add another one that lets you know that the chamfer for this particular shape was equal to 0.2 inches. Um, let's say we wanted to point to something when we have labeled it. So we can go to insert, annotation, note, and we can actually point to. So we would select select terminating object. And this is something that it's going to point to when we have, uh, if we want to label something. So I'm going to call this a break edge. Or whatever you may want to uh, label your particular uh, object. And uh, last thing I want to do too is go ahead and put the depth of this hole. So I'm going to go to insert dimension, and we can also we can click inferred. Okay. 
It's the same thing as clicking this uh, lightning bolt here. I'm going to go ahead and double click what I've already what I've already um, labeled, and I'm going to click text editor. Okay. And what you guys will see is this menu come up for text editor, where we can put before, we can put after some text. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say that I want to put the depth symbol in here. So I'm going to put x 1.0. I'm going to put the depth symbol. I'm just going to select the depth symbol. I'm going to click OK. And what you'll see now is that we have now put the uh, symbol for depth on here as well. So very much uh, showing you guys now how I went about creating some of your assignments and making the blueprints for those uh, when you went through here. Uh, your homework for this week is going to be to do a very similar shape to this. Um, if you don't have the text uh, or you don't have uh, the dimensions for this, I have included the dimensions online on Blackboard and I would like you guys to make a uh, to follow the assignment that's listed on there. Uh, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this series of lectures that were posted online and I hope that you find them useful as you go throughout your uh, career as an engineer at uh, UTEP. Thank you all very much and I will see you guys um, in class and, and throughout throughout your time here.